beautiful day out. Hello everyone. Phase two of the cutting plan. You know, we're getting near the end of phase two actually, and it's feeling like it's almost that time again where we want to move on to the next phase, which is great. We felt that way in phase one, so then we hit phase two and it felt pretty difficult, but now it's getting just a little bit easier. Not to say it's easy by any means, but we're definitely getting in the groove of things. So hope everything has been going well for all of you. At this point, it's really consistency. You're hitting that middle area. You can feel a little bit of a slump because the beginning, it's brand new. The end, you know it's almost over. But the middle can be kind of difficult because you just gotta lock it in, stay consistent with your eating and workouts, and pretty much just keep your head down and get it done. So I'm gonna finish up this cardio, and you know what? I'm getting hungry. I think it's time for a recipe. It's time to make some breakfast, and we gotta switch it up a little bit. I talked recently about trying to include greens and proteins in every meal. So how about we get creative and mix the two together today? We're gonna be making spinach pancakes. They're packed with protein and, of course, plenty of greens. They are delicious, surprisingly. So let's go over how you make these bad boys. You will need spinach, eggs, Greek yogurt, oats, stevia, and bacon powder. First, go ahead and crack your two eggs and put them into your food processor or a blender. I actually would probably recommend a blender a little bit more as there's gonna be more room. Next, go ahead and grab a big heaping handful of spinach. As you can see, I took a huge one. You don't have to make it this big, but it's really up to you how much you want. The more spinach you use, the more it's gonna taste like spinach, so keep that in mind. What I did next is I went ahead and blended it a little bit to give myself a little bit more room. This may not be necessary if you have something larger like a blender, but it's up to you. Next, I went ahead and put in my half cup of Greek yogurt, my quarter cup of oats, one tablespoon of stevia, and half a teaspoon of baking powder. Go ahead and whip all those things up. Once you're finished whipping them up, go ahead and spray your waffle iron and put it on there. My ingredients were just big enough that I could fill my waffle iron completely, which is nice, but it might vary depending on the one you use. Go ahead and let it cook for about five minutes. It usually takes a little bit longer than your typical waffle, so keep that in mind. If you try to take them out around the same time as a normal waffle, like two or three minutes, they might fall apart, so go ahead and let them cook a little bit longer. Five minutes later, we take them out and they're ready to eat. Okay, now it's time for the taste test. They look a little weird. They look like nuclear radioactive waffles, but uh, I don't know. Looks can be deceiving, so let's give them a shot. Hmm? Not bad. Those are surprisingly tasty. The Greek yogurt and the oats really helped. You know, it's kind of funny because I smell a little bit of spinach, but I don't really taste it much. So I would say mission accomplished. Hope you enjoy these, and if you do, please let us know. All right, that concludes our daily recipe. And you know what that means. It's time for the gym. And today we're gonna switch it up a little bit because I'm feeling like we need a montage. Let's get our ass in gear. Yeah. Never ending story.
the name is uh, aptly titled, but uh, I feel a little bit better with these dumbbell upright rows. Why, why you gotta push me? <laughs> why you gotta keep pushing me? Hey, wait, why you gotta keep pushing me? Uh, uh, uh. chest and the front delts kind of completes that fuller look in the chest. So if you're kind of laying behind on that portion then the front raises are going to help with that a little bit. Look, trap easy us. Yeah, I'm here all night. <laughs> Dad jokes. Better get used to them. Load us up. It's good exercise. What you want to focus on is kind of rolling up through the spine. So instead of just keeping a rigid torso, doing here, you're gonna kind of crunch in and then fall through with the shoulders. So it's hitting those abs, hitting those shoulders. And it's just an overall damn good exercise. fast, you know? It's a lot of our favorite exercise. We've got some compounds, we've got some isolations. Of course, finish it with a little bit of abs, so Buff Dude's train keeps rolling. Phase two, day three is done. 